Wide receivers to the left. And Lewis will roll that way. He'll dump it off to the tight end, Johnny Lumpkin, and he's got some running room. To the 35, out near the 40-yard line for the big tight end, Lumpkin. Five of 13 against Texas Longhorns. And they didn't have a conversion until deep into the second, third quarter, rather. Smith on the carry. He's going to be close to the first down. Lewis is going to loft it downfield. Jump ball, and it comes down into the hands of Michael Jefferson, the transfer from Alabama State that these Cajuns are so high on. Great grab. Still with the hurry up, quick throw out, goes back to Jefferson again. He's inside the 15, down to about the 14-yard line. in and allows Nichols to make any changes they would like. Lewis is going to loft it into the end zone and looking for and finding John Stevens Jr., the transfer from TCU. And the Cajuns are on the board quickly. Scott, the senior, well-traveled. But his talents are there, and this is a deep ball. It's going to be complete down the way down to the 25-yard line. Second and six as Scott calls for it. Pass out here is complete, and a nice move to the inside. And the Colonels have answered back quickly. And it's Dejon Dixon. Who else? The all-time leading receiver in Colonel history. Second and three for Louisiana, already in Colonel territory. Quick out and a nice move by Kyron Lacey. He's got some running room. He's inside the 30. Williams goes in motion and blitzing across and making the tackle really before Montrell Johnson could get going. Eight yarder. This one will be about a 46. That 48 was his career long. He's got a foot into it and it is good. Third downs. They were. Shaky on third down for much of that game. Scott is under pressure, and he will be sacked. Zion Hill is in there. Field with him as the Colonels have the Cajuns pinned back here. Bailey gets the call, and he's got some running room. Almost hit a gap right at about the five-yard line. He is finally brought down at the 20, but a solid run for Imani Bailey. Break it down for you very simply. Tackle the guy. Empty backfield for Lewis, throwing over the middle and hitting a streaking Cajun receiver at the 40-yard line. And in Colonel territory, first and 10 at the 46. As Lewis almost stumbles, and now he'll cut it loose deep, and he's got a receiver, and he's got him. Michael Jefferson. Michael Jefferson. The junior from Mobile, Alabama, the transfer from Alabama State. Cajun coaches raved about him during the summer workouts. Scott will call for it on second and six. And again, under some pressure. Again, he finds a seam up the middle. And he'll stretch forward. And again, he'll get that first down by about one or two yards. Scott takes off real quickly. First and ten. Scott is this time under some pressure. And he will go down in the backfield. 75 seconds left in the first half as Scott delivers, and he's got a man, Dixon. and he's got a first down once again, Dejon Dixon. So Lassane trying to get the Colonels on the board in the final 41 seconds of the half. He's got a foot into it. He's got plenty distance, and he's got it. He did it. Gavin Lassane with a career-long field goal. And Scott... Delivers over the middle, and the catch is made. And slipping out of a tackle, not going much further, but Dejon Dixon. And he's again back to throw over the middle, and he's got a man again. Scott fakes the handoff, now under some pressure, and slips out of a tackle again. And there he goes, a stiff arm still going inside the 10, down to about the five-yard line. And here we go, fourth and goal at the one. Taylor Humphrey, the big guy in the middle, waving to the crowd to try to get the Cajun fans going. Scott has Gums in the backfield with him. Heavy formation right. Extra tackle in. Gums is hit in the no. backfield. Ball comes loose. 
Cajuns are on the football. I don't know if they will say it was a live ball fumble or not. Either way, it will go over to the Cajuns in a huge defensive stand for Louisiana. Keeping their own end of the field, 97 yards away from the goal line as Lewis rolls to throw and he's flipping it out with some running room. Formation to the left. Johnson gets the call. He's hit in the backfield. He's going to be short. And off goes to number 21. The Colonels have held Jacarius Martin. The Cajuns came over that left side of the offensive line. Second and almost 10. This time Scott really would know where to go. It's going to be picked he off. Accepted. Chris Moncrief has it. And nobody is going to catch Chris Moncrief. The junior from Raleigh, Mississippi. And Scott... I'm not sure where he was throwing it. I think he was just trying to throw it away. All right, here we go. Under fire a little bit, and maybe, you know, he's got a couple receivers back there, but. Mostly coached the safeties during 11-year career as an assistant with the Cajuns. Lewis throwing over the middle, and he's got a wide open receiver. Dante Fleming and after go back to Fleming. misfiring on the one. Pauley goes in motion across the formation. As Lewis again back to throw again, he'll lob it up and drop it in the bucket. Nice. Nice throw, nice catch. Peter LeBlanc has his first reception of the night. Might be, I don't know if they're intentionally going away from wherever he is or not, but Chris Smith, and he's got some room. He's going to cut it inside the 25, inside the 20. Right, even though they lead 24-10, they're only 3 of 10. But this time, picking up the first down is going to be Imani Bailey. Darris already has one field goal tonight. The kick is up, and he's got it. Almond Darris still perfect for his career. Now eight for eight for the Colonels at their own 47. As Scott pulls it back, looking to throw. He will put it out here complete. What a catch. And guess who? Dejon Dixon once again. Ten catches on the night. And Scott again back to throw and finds the seam again right down the hash mark and slides down at about the 22-yard line. Pickup of two to the 20, second and eight. And Scott back to throw, throwing over the middle, and he has got his man. Yes, he does. Wow. K.J. Franklin with the sliding catch. Those are not dead yet. Threaded the man, needle. beautiful from the Colonel 30. And Levi Lewis on the designed run. He will go forward and he'll lose the football. Fumble is going to be recovered by the Colonels. Nipples. But Lewis looks like, you know, picking up six, seven, His eight. His arm and then got grabbed from behind. Empty backfield for Scott who's back to throw. Four man rush, throwing over the middle, finding a wide open receiver out near midfield down or to the 45 yard line. So we've got some pretty solid offensive numbers on both sides tonight. Scott's going to throw out here on the sideline, and he'll find his man complete for a first down. Gums is in the backfield. Scott looking downfield and wow. making the grab. Receiving. As this catch takes it down to the Cajun 18-yard line and make sure no snap before the play. Scott. Looked like he was bottled up. Now he finds a seam. He is down to inside the 10, We're down to about the 7, zero. maybe the 6-yard line. Clock is running inside 40 seconds. Quick throw out and making the catch for the touchdown. Dejon Dixon comes the onside kick. Ball's going to pop up, and again it is handled. That's Devin Cambry. And he will take the knee. And I don't think the Colonels will even use the timeout. I think that one will run it out. And what has been a good one here tonight, wide open offense, good plays by guys on both sides of the ball in this Bayou rivalry, but the Cajuns are going to come away with their fifth straight win over the Colonels in the five games played in this series and they will get their first win of the year, 27-24, over a gritty Nichols team.